Especially with the big hype for the new Roblox Doors update, we've been getting so many leaks from pictures to even whole new trailers as well. But it's overwhelming by the amount of new stuff that is coming to the game. Well, here's the official list of 25 new features coming to the Roblox Doors new update. So sit back and watch the whole video in order to know exactly what's coming soon for the big update. Number one, we are going to be receiving some more outdoor rooms within this next update, just like the courtyard. One of the first leaks was actually this picture of pink flowers and a ground texture, which leads us to think that the courtyard won't be the only outside room anymore. We also got another outdoor Outdoors look with the vine plants wrapping around the wall outside, Perfect. which is awesome. Number two, new lighting systems are also in the works as well compared to these current standard and relatively generic lights. We were also shown an alternative light box that would soon come to the game as well as new active lights that will break upon approaching them as well. It will be extra stuff added to the background in order to give the rooms a fresh new look. Number three, we are going to be getting a new confirmed cellar barrel maze similar to the ones currently within the game. This was the one teased all the way back in September 18th and it seems bigger than the current mazes. Would be nice to see some crazier ones being added in order to put our minds to the test. Obviously, we are going to be getting some new rooms, such as the infirmary room, which could also increase a spawn of bandages within the drawers and cabinets. Makes sense, because an infirmary is also known as a type of hospital. Number five, more live room mechanics are going to be added in, just like when the bookshelves currently fall within the game. The update is going to feature live mechanics, which will open new pathways through walls too. We also had yet another look at another leak, showing a wall getting blasted open as well. It's going to make the experience that much more lifelike and real. Number six, the current item shop will not be the only shop around. We were shown a new type of cop or drop shop in which players would be able to grab items that they'd like to on the go as they progress to the hotel. Doors 49 or 149 would be a great spot for this, but it's up to the developers. Number seven, new paintings are confirmed to come along with the current arsenal of paintings within the game. First of which is this new one simply called The Legal Mind, which was actually a painting painting of Chuck McGill from the show Better Call Saul. We're also getting new entity paintings such as Depth being shown in the first league video and Greed being shown within the second trailer as well. Nothing was shown for Silence as of yet and there's no confirmation about the entities officially being added in but maybe time will tell. Number 8, multi-door mechanics will soon come into this upcoming update as shown within the gameplay teaser. These rooms would be labeled with multiple doors requiring the player to remember the correct order to continue. This comes as a co-developer Redables states that it's the worst nightmare going through a hotel room by accidentally opening the door to the wrong room. Always pay attention to the room number. Number 9, of course, we'll be getting a new item and that is going to be the candle as shown within the trailer. Not only will it be a light source, but it can detect entities coming towards the players and will be put out with the guardian light sparkles to inform players to hide. Number 10, plays in part with number 9, but entities are going to be able to actually spawn within dark rooms of the hotel. Currently, entities are only able to spawn in lighted rooms to give players a heads up via the flick lights. This is why the introduction of the candle is being made. Number 11, it is confirmed that the cutscenes within the game will receive a major revamp such as the figure cutscenes and also the seek chase cutscenes as well. This was confirmed by co-developer Redables saying that lots of improvements are coming to this in the next update. Number 12, certain rooms within the game currently have been confirmed to be removed for the next doors update. These rooms do include several of the stupid key rooms with the key lying on the ground, the vent room due to some bugs, and the gate rooms have been reworked including the vents once again. RIP to the standalone vent rooms though, will miss Rush bouncing back at players like Ambush. Number 13, we can't forget about the major item being showcased, the crucifix. 
Finally, the rules have changed and players are able to combat against the demons with this item, chaining entities with immense power and lifting them to the heavens. Number 14, it appears a mini game mechanic has also been added with the crucifix as it's broken into four pieces in which players would have to find in order to make the item usable. Carden Hong shows a great version of this as they can be found inside special chests hidden around the hotel. Number 15, more tools and items are going to be added within this next update as well. Co-developed Paredibles has confirmed that these new tools will make key rooms way less of a pain, presumably hinting at a universal multi-use lockpick? Who even knows, bro? But a way to make locked doors easier? I like the sound of that. There's even an item that's supposed to make door 50 even easier within the library, which is interesting to note. Number 16, new assets are coming into the game completely changing the look of these generic looking bookshelves. The ones within the new game trailer have been shown to be rectangular and feature a more colonial look, which is interesting. Number 17, it has also been confirmed more and newer puzzles should be in the making and should be coming within this next door's up update as well. Co-developer Redables has once again mentioned work of adding in some simple puzzles for this next update. More barrel mazes could be featured as well as other types of puzzles as well. Number 18, we are getting a new type of door and that is pretty similar to the locked doors currently within the game. This is going to be the skeleton door which features a skull of a skeleton right in front and the right eye containing a slot for its designated key which leads into number 19 the brand new skeleton key that is to be used with the skeleton door. It is currently unknown what is beyond this door or where the key could be found, but many do say it could house one of the pieces needed to reassemble the crucifix for use. Number 20, it has also been confirmed that many more achievements other than the current ones within the game are to be added with this next update very soon. This was also confirmed by Redables once again. Number 21, kind of small, but sunroofs are going to be added in this next update which will improve lighting for darker rooms. Currently in the game there is no structure similar to this. Number 22, new sound effects have also been added more specifically for the doors opening. Currently we also do have a beep sound effect which activates the light beacon on top but this wasn't shown within the teaser gameplay surprisingly enough. Number 23, Figure, one of the game's main entities, is looking to receive a buff, perhaps in gameplay, as Redables has hinted and confirmed that they are going to make the entity better than before. Number 24, it's also been confirmed that more UGC apparel for the game should drop along with the update. For those with Robux to spend, that means more knobs and revives as bonuses, which is great. And lastly, number 25, voice-only servers are in the works once again, confirmed by the developers as well. I know many players within the community have been asking for this, but are you excited for the update? Like and subscribe, and goodbye.